Tuesday, the U.S. Senate passed a $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill, and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania is set now to receive billions. Julia Hazel joining us now in the control room because uh, 24 hours later, Julia, uh, still plenty of reaction to this, right? Yes, of course. And the reaction, though, we heard from today were Pennsylvania representatives sharing their thoughts on this infrastructure bill. Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act would provide more than $23 billion for Pennsylvania. According to U.S. Senator Bob Casey, the largest amount is $11.3 billion going toward highway programs. State lawmaker Bob Mursky is pleased to get Washington's help. We know from PennDOT that 50% of our maintenance is deferred uh, in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And, and this package is going to allow us to address those needs and without uh, increasing state tax dollars to our Pennsylvania residents. Bob Casey's website also states that $1.6 billion will be allocated to Pennsylvania for bridge replacement, giving this local professor and chair of political science at Mercyhurst University one reason to side with the bill. Uh, an, infra an infrastructure bill is a win for not just the United States at large, but every community within the United States. This is a bill that has the potential to rebuild bridges, to build more roads. But 3rd District U.S. Congressman Mike Kelly is opposed to the bill, saying, quote, it is another example of irresponsible spending that will only add more unsustainable debt on the backs of future generations. While this was passed by U.S. Senate, Pennsylvania Senator Toomey me voted against the bill. So there's whole categories where we're throwing taxpayer money at things that the private sector would be paying for. There's things that have nothing to do with infrastructure. The next steps for this bill, of course, is to go on to the House of Representatives. Sean. Right, Julie Hazel in the control room tonight. Thanks, Julia.